This is part seven of a series to introduce the eight thinking maps. I'll be releasing one video each day. Subscribe to get notified. Use the multi-flow map to understand the causes and effects of an event or to predict possible outcomes of a situation. Imagine, for example, that you dozed off for a second while driving and wanted to understand why this happened and what could have been the consequences. There are a number of reasons that may have led to the event, such as driving at a late hour, not having rested before the trip, feeling tired but not stopping for a rest, having ran out of coffee, and having passengers who have also fallen asleep. Looking at the consequences, you have drifted from your lane, which scared you enough to decide to stop for a rest at the next immediate opportunity. Also, you have made a personal commitment never to travel at a late hour again. Multiflow maps can be connected to one another. You can, for example, explore the potential consequences of drifting from your lane. Because you want to learn from the incident, you will explore more deeply what has led you to doze off while driving. Here I'm reconstructing the flow map leading to the central event. Without completing this exercise, you may never realize that your procrastination that led to the last minute rush to get your assignment completed was also one of the root causes of your near miss accident. Let's look at another happier example. Imagine that you threw a party and it was an outstanding success. You'd want to know what you did right so you can repeat it in the future. You may also want to make a mental note of all the positive results as well. Finally, let's explore how you might use a multi-flow map to understand why you did not get the price you wanted for your used car. From the causes, it would seem that you did not do a good job at negotiating. The consequences are that you'll need to take a higher loan, you'll feel bad for a couple of days, and hopefully you'll also learn from the event. The multi-flow map will help you understand causes and effects, looking back at past events or predicting the outcome of future ones. This concludes the introduction of the multi-flow map. In the final video, I will cover the bridge map. Don't forget to subscribe so you're notified when part 8 is released. Thank you for watching.